You guys, I am starting a, what I hope to be a really fun new series that you guys really enjoy watching. If not for the like practicality of learning about new products, um, then just for the humor aspect of me <laughs> trying to use them for the first time. But basically, I am always so intrigued by the ads that I get on Instagram. I get sewing related ads for like really random stuff. And I've always wondered, does that thing really work? So I started buying them. <laughs> and today we are going to review our very first one. I'm going to be using this for the first time. I'm going to be setting it up live on camera so you guys can kind of see how easy or difficult it is. Um, this particular one did not come with any instructions. <laughs> so that's going to make for a very interesting um, situation. I've got extra parts here. I don't really know what they're for. Um, I've gone online to try and see if they had instructions online or a video or anything and I'm not seeing it. So they've got a lot of pictures here though. Um, so I'm gonna try my best to use the pictures and get this thing set up. So this is what it is. It is <laughs> this contraption and they are calling it the Curve Edge Angle Binder. So basically it is a bias binding tool that will allow you to bind things around curves as well as straight seams, which is very intriguing. It came set up as if they had run this through a machine um, and you've got your little ribbon here and then this is what they were able to do with the bias binding. So in theory, it should work. Um, this is an 18 millimeter bias binding foot. So you're gonna get narrow binding every time. I do not see where you're able to buy the pieces to swap this out to make wider binding. So that's already the first limitation. Um, they say it's adjustable because you can um, like un like loosen these screws and these screws here to move this thing up and down and then also shift this thing back and forth. So if you want to do a blanket stitch, you can do that. Or if you want to do a straight stitch, that's what it's set up to do. Um, this little bag comes with these two pieces, which I think are what is going to help it um, attach to my machine, I think. I mean, look at that. That looks like it wants to be feed dogs or something. And then this looks like the attachment that I have for all my other um, uh, sewing machine tools that didn't come with my machine. You know what I mean? This is like the little shank connects into here. So this has to go somewhere. Let me look at the photos. I'll take you over to my sewing machine and we'll see if we can't get this figured out together. I hope it works. All right, you guys, I have studied the photos on the website and I think this is going to be a returned item because even though on, I remember for sure on the listing, it said that it worked with any home sewing machine and there's a little girl not a girl a woman in the picture like the advertisement using a regular sewing machine so i didn't in any way think that this was just for industrial machines but as you can see i've got two screw holes here and those screw holes in no way line up with my situation um my screw holes are like in the back here and certainly that can't be it, right? Although those line up, that's certainly not how a sewing machine works. Um, and then if you put it this way, that's not how a sewing machine works, so it can't be that. So I think that this is designed for industrial sewing machines and not for home sewing machines. Furthermore, even if I could figure out how to get this plate to work in conjunction with my plate, like how does it attach to the machine? This thing here is too tall. So it's for a high shank and I have a low shank and there is no um, other piece to, there's not a low shank piece with it, you know what I mean? And then this little guy that looks like the extra feed dogs, 
I mean, who even knows? They come, it comes in and fits like this, which looks great, but what is the point of that? I don't understand how you're supposed to use that. And certainly without any instructions at all, I, I don't know what else to do. I, I've used my brain as much as I possibly can and none of it is making any common sense at all. So that's a real bummer. Um, I do feel a little bit misled from my Instagram ad. Such a bummer. Um, yeah, they just weren't super clear that it was just for industrial machines. Oh, I did email them. Um, so if I have an update for you, if they get back to me with instructions, um, I will for sure let you guys know. But if you come across the Curve Edge Angle Binder from Pick Element, buyer beware buyer beware. Um, it does say 100% satisfaction, so I am going to be able to return it, no big deal, but I still am looking for a helpful bias tape foot. And before you tell me, oh, your machine comes with one, that one sucks. So I want one that is like, you know, legit. Like this looked like, this is heavy, this is serious, you know? And I liked this little weedy thing and I had such high hopes, such high hopes. So it's a bust. But now you all know. So, and we all know. Um, so yeah, that's it. If you saw what I was messing with and you saw a way that it would work, please leave it in the comment section because maybe I'm just not seeing something, but I think that this doesn't work with my machine. Um, and I don't think that's exclusive to my own machine. I think it's ex it, it would apply to all home sewing machines. So, womp womp. But, it was still fun. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.